who are you? What do you do? And yes. um, what has you super mega interested in the world of Vera? Well, we uh, we actually came together as a guild several months ago. Um, House Rain is a role playing guild. Um, over the years, the founding seven members of the Rain family, which they all play different members. Um, obviously, you know, I play all Mark, and uh, everybody else has found their way into the family tree somehow. Um, we started off in different areas, some at uh, Star Wars, uh, the Old Republic, some in World of Warcraft. We decided to come together because the roleplay communities was, was starting to sprout here. And uh, we found out really that the game was going to be extremely, I don't want to say too appealing to role players because I didn't know enough about it at the time, but especially going forward and some of the things in this latest live stream talk about the integration of uh, role play of uh, role play uh, aspects and uh, things about the environment that are definitely going to be beneficial from a storytelling perspective so we all came together and made this house rain where no uh, no day is a peaceful day so um, as uh, chibi has discovered this evening <laughs> never so, peace never peace uh, so Right now, we're in the process of writing our prologue uh, on Sanctus and what little information has been released about it. And mm -hmm. the current thought process is we role play out together the prologue to the game. And whenever the game goes live, we will have transitioned to Vera along with everybody else in the game. And we'll have our fresh new start, but with character history between them. And uh, fortunately, we have quite a bit of time left to make those connections and meet new people and bring them along for the adventure. Nice. Yes. I like it. Um, I guess what drew you to Ashes specifically? Like why Ashes of Creation? Um, full disclosure, I've always been kind of a PvP goon. Um, okay. The uh, the sieges were the first thing that I was told about. Um, <laughs> somebody told me there was a game coming out with uh, full scale guild sieges on castles, and that Ooh. was what got me to look at the game. Um, once I saw the, the makeup of the game, um, how integrated the guilds were, the, 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 pretty much the, the way the game could be painted completely by the players and right. the way that the environment would be created and characters would have agency over their world in a way that I'd never seen in a game before. That was really the, the, the final straw to, to go ahead and give this game a full shot. Awesome. I really like that. Um, for those that have never role played in a game before, um, what are your thoughts or any advice that you might have? So something that I get some surprise with is uh, whenever I have someone that's, that's never been a role player before or they've, they've never tried it, um, I commonly tell them that you kind of already have been. Um, up to this point, when you play a game, whether it's Ashes of Creation or another MMO or Call of Duty or, or whatever your your poison is, you are you are inserting yourself into this world and playing that character and, and playing along with the motivations that they have. So really the only difference between a role player and someone that might think of, think of themselves as not a role player is whether or not you only intend to avail yourself of the campaign or the story that comes baked into the game, or if you want to find a handful of strange friends and make one yourself. And me personally, over the years, I've found a lot more engagement and satisfaction with making our own stories. Mm -hmm. And and then also enjoying the one that's in the game because, you know, they've been pretty good so far. Uh, but And everything past that, as far as not being a role player and being a role player, is just a measure of degrees. Right. And today we're going to be talking about the um, event system a little later and how that allows for um, kind of like role playing as well as quest hooks, which I really like a lot because as uh, somebody who's been getting better at DMing my own D&D &D game um, as the DM with trying to engage my players and allow them to role play out different things. Uh, having quest hooks that hook into the main part of the quest still the main overarching storyline I suppose you could say has been an interesting thing so it's it's kind of unique seeing how um, in some other games whether you role play individually or you try to role play as your character going through that story um, 
how they kind of are trying to make sure that all roads lead to the same destination, kind of. Um, and then another question that I had was, uh, where do you see yourself going? You're relatively a smaller, newer guild within Ashes of Creation for roleplay. So where do you see your future heading? Well, right now, um, and this is a new experience for me, um, I'm, we're getting into a game that's still a ways off. Uh, I've never joined an MMO prior to its launching. So yeah. uh, right now, the the big goal is to enjoy our, our roleplay atmosphere. If, if we didn't gain a single more person, it would still be okay. We, if we kept, I think right now we're at 13 people, uh, mm -hmm. not counting the, the guests we have in our server. Um, we could not pick up a single more person and we would still have these stories that we could enjoy together. And uh, I, I tend to make a protagonist or antagonist out of my character for, for everybody else's story enjoyment purposes. But um, mm -hmm. I, I gotta admit some, some small part of me hopes that maybe more people see this rich storytelling and they see all the fun we're having in our server as, you know, again, Chibi has, has discovered the hard way this evening. <laughs> um, and and they want to come join and they want to get a little piece of that and, and attach themselves to the story. And maybe our guild gets large enough that we have a larger presence in the game. Mm -hmm. And that's really what I'm looking for to, to that to be the de facto area people go to when you think of engaging fun storytelling. Like I, I want House Rain to be the, just the first name that pops up when people talk about it. Nice, I like it. And on that note, um, this is, as you mentioned, this is a game that's in development. It's not out yet. What do you think are the perks of being a role play guild on a brand new game um, with there being potential uh, many different servers that different roleplay guilds can kind of spread out on but um, even if they didn't this is a brand new game you're starting at the very very beginning and it's very player driven so what kind of things do you think lends itself to having a roleplay guild and the perks of that compared to other games well part of it is is the age of those communities when you think about um, it, I mean, even games I've never played before like you know, Guild Wars or uh, Arc Age, you're, you're dealing with communities that are already built. You're mm -hmm. talking, you're engaging with people that are already known names. They're, you know, you never know who you're going to be trying to interact with. And it can feel like you're the outsider in, in the equation. Um, at least with a game like this, everyone's coming in. Everyone's a stranger. You've, unless you happen to bring along some friends from another community, you know, you're not competing with anyone. You're not worrying about making a you know a friend or an enemy of, of somebody that you know is an established name in the community nobody's established we're all brand new you right know, this is it's it's the perfect chance for someone to get into something without having that social pressure of being the outsider because we're all mm. outsiders that's fair i like that that's really cool and i think ashes will provide a unique perspective for that and a unique entrance for role players and just having your mark in the world in, in a in a unique manner 